Hey guys, this is Ani Gamer One, and today I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to cust how to add a custom room in your HTC Explorer. First of all, your phone should be rooted and boot unlocked. So let's go. First of all, you have to download two files. I'll give you the description in the I'll give you the links in the description. Yeah. So there will be two files which. One will be the CM CM9. Actually, I prefer CM9 actually because in because compared to the others, they would it is very much better. Yeah. So there's CM9 and this is the G app. That's the Google Apps. You okay? I'll give you. I'll tell you about it later. So let's go. First of all, first of all, you will connect your connect your uh, phone through USB into your computer I'll show you how to do so this is my HTC Explorer you can see that actually I have had ha added CM9 in it it's actually very good compared to gingerbread all those cloudy stuff I don't need that yeah so let's do it first of all Okay, first of all, connect it through USB. Sorry, I'll get the USB. Okay, so we've got the USB. Let's go. First of all, connect it. Uh, to the USB port this is not a noobs tutorial so you know how to do it to con so to connect to the computer so I'll just connect it so you can see that I have connected it to the computer through the USB so now I know the interface is very different because it's already custom room so I'll just I'll just uh, show you the method now in the gingerbread version just go to the go and select the option of mount the disk drive in the USB storage okay so it's getting connected okay so it's connected now the okay so it's connected right to the computer now download the two files the cm the cm9 the cm9 un unofficial and uh, the g apps where was it yeah g apps so actually i have, so now just select these two just select these two and copy them to the to your phone yeah just uh, copy them to their phone actually I've got a, got a virus so it's coming all the shortcuts just leave leave that okay copy them yeah so it was something come like this now now just um, safely remove your phone yeah okay it's done now just mm, take off your phone okay so we will prepare the SD card as you can see that just a second okay now what you have to do in actually in the CM9 when we press the power button which is here we we get the we get the option of reboot and go to recovery but you don't have that so i'll show you the another method just hold this power button and there will be an option of restart or reboot just click it okay and then click reboot and then okay now it, it will reboot so you got to wait for that
yeah so now hold the power button and the volume down button just hold it the power down and the oh no sorry guys I think it's I think I have to use the reboot version in it sorry you can uh, do the restart and just hold it uh, that power power down and this volume down so it will go, go into the recovery mode so I am just going to the recovery mode by the shortcut yeah okay now I'll get us to the recovery menu And just I'm just 13 so just take it easy on me yeah so we are in the recovery menu actually what you must have boot unlock so you will know what is the recovery menu so when you so first you gotta do is you can see that just a second yeah now first what you have to do is create your Android backup so for that go to the backup and restore and click backup okay so when you click it just go and just do the okay option or whatever it is and create a backup after that go back you have to create an android backup so that so that if anything goes wrong you can restore your phone i'll show you how to do it later yeah now just go to the option uh wipe data slash factory reset click it and uh, just press no no just press yes delete all I'm not gonna do it because I have already done it now go and do the wipe cac partition do this and do wipe cac okay now choose install zip from SD card once you have done it just uh, go and choose zip from the SD card and there you will get this CM9 which one you have downloaded just click it okay now and then click install I will not do it as I have already done it now do now do the same thing from the Google Apps that G Apps which I have given yeah do the same thing now once you have done it you have installed your custom room which I have show you the, showed you in the CM9 now now what you gotta do is okay I'll just show you how to restore also to restore uh, just yeah in the recovery menu go go to the backup and restore and click restore now select which select which you have done okay just click it and it will get restored okay so we have done it so just what you gotta do is now reboot system okay now yeah now see the first look of your phone will be like this it's actually very cool yeah, better than Jagirom or AOKP or anything, but this is the best for me. 
right now cm10 is getting discussed in xda in htc so explorer so we are not thinking about just putting cm10 because it'll have many bugs in it so anyways be happy with it i'll give you the latest build on everything yeah so okay make sure that make sure that your contacts have been synced by your google sync it the first look will be coming like just sign in in your google account as i have already done it so it's not coming and if your contacts are gone just uh, go to the settings go to the settings and then go to accounts and sync accounts and sync and then go to the sagar go to the gmail word, gmail icon and click it and then and then they will come many sorry ha huh. then it will come sync contacts photos calendar browser anything just click on sync contacts and your contacts will all, will come back okay thank you for watching my custom room ex tutorial thank you and please please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe